You good, Jimmy? Do you have a mic? It's in my backpack, I think, and if it's not in my backpack. There's one on the floor. I found my actual in the room? Yeah. Where's that one located? Next to your bed. You guys probably watch these videos from other people's perspectives. And my perspective too. And you figure you ask yourself, how do I survive life? Well, I ask myself that ten times a day. We're good. We're good. Um Today's gonna be a banger video, I'm calling it. What are the odds the boat's gone? Oh, it's there. It's We're good. The cover's still there. This is my philosophy when it comes with, like, I left one rod on the deck last night. If somebody's going to steal something, they're not going to go through the trouble of putting back on the cover. It's not like they're going to take the, rip the cover off, steal your rods, and then put the cover back on. Oh, they're there. Nobody stole our stuff, so uh, that's good. That's good. Wow. This water's really clear. What do you think, Jimmy? You good? No, dude. What's that hat you're wearing? <laughs> I got it at the gas station, bro. Yeah, I don't see any fish. It's really clear, though. I don't see any fish at all. No, I still don't see any. Well, folks, we are doing a, uh, well, we're doing a roadside challenge. Are you gonna, like, just pour it, or what, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't look over, and he's just literally peeing as cars are going past. We're doing a roadside challenge. I don't see any fish, though. Peric had this brilliant idea. In fact, it was so brilliant, we drove down the wrong road for an hour and a half. And uh, then he's like, man, this just doesn't look like what I was what I was expecting. Just doesn't look like it. And uh, then he pulls up his maps. He's like, yep, no, this is in it. We're on the wrong highway. So we drove an hour back and then an hour, another hour on this one. We're finally ready to get the challenge started. Apparently, there's fish in these tiny little ditches by this highway. According to Peric, he said that he's done this. He did this a few years ago, I guess. And he said it was cool. He caught a bunch of different species. We're just going to fish. I don't, we have very, very minimal tackle. Like two rods, like a little tackle box, a couple packs of plastics, and that's pretty much it. I still don't see a whole lot of stuff. I mean, the fish could be tucked up under this stuff too, or they could be up in the, the mangrove looking thingies over there too. I don't know, but there's no fish just swimming around the open, like Peric was saying. Peric basically was saying, there's a ton of fish and uh, they're easy to catch. Oh, that's a fish, what is that? Oh, oh, those are gar. Okay, I see gar. Okay, I'm definitely not telling Peric I saw those. There's two big gar sitting under this like oh there's another okay there's fish here anyways i'm gonna put the chest cheese and rice anyways i'm gonna put the gopro on put this camera away grab some rods grab some tackle and see what we can make happen you guys stay tuned all right what do we got here um we're rocking the chatterbait i was gonna tie something else on but we're gonna we'll just rock the old chatterbait for now because it's already on and i'm just I'm just too lazy, and I don't really know what else to tie on, so that'll do. All right, Junior, let's try not to get hit by a car and try to catch a fish. Three, two, one, begin. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get out of business. We gotta find some fish here. All right, hop in the rail. Don't wanna get hit by a car, folks. This is not recommended what we're doing. Oh, wow, that's a gar, hang on. Chill. There's a little, just a baby gar. I think I need like a jerk bait or something. All right, I don't know. I don't know how the gar is gonna go. He did not like this thing. He didn't care. He did not care one bit about this little drag and drop I had. Wow, first time using a spinning rod. Peric said last time he did this, he caught like a ton of random species. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a catfish. Oh, wait, there's a fish. Got him. Got him. I'm hooked up. Oh, that's a large mouth. That's a large mouth. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, there's a catfish right here, though. All right, little little Larry Largy. See, buddy? Go over there. And uh, where'd that catfish go? There he is. It, Florida is so weird. You feel like you're on in a different freaking planet because there's so many random species of fish. Let's see if this catfish bites. Oh, nope. Nope. Catfish didn't want anything to do with it. Well, that's sick. So there's a large mouth in here. This is incredible. We're literally fishing in this tiny little creek off the side of the highway here in Florida. All right, I'm gonna keep moving. You gotta stay on the move. I wanna see what crazy fish I can catch here. Not just largemouth. I am after, this is a multi-species. Oh, there's gar right there. It's like they don't like this thing. have it he's got it got him got him what is this what is this it's a gar it's a gar oh what's up no no it's not what is this 
Is that a car? Ferrick! I think. Oh! See you, buddy. See you, buddy. Sorry about that. Well, that was a gar. It was a gar. It had a weird tail on it. That's why I wasn't sure if it was a gar. Definitely a gar. That was great. That was a really dark colored gar. See, the reason why I was unsure, because the gar I'm seeing are kind of like the normal spotted gar that I'm used to seeing up north. But that guy was like pretty much straight black. It almost kind of looked like a little bow fin or something, but I'm, I, it was a gar. I, I'll just, we're just gonna say it was a gar. And if, hey, by the way, if you guys are watching and I misidentify anything, I apologize for that. I am not a uh, expert in multi-species. So please correct me, because I really am trying to get educated on some of this type of stuff. Like, if I misidentify something, just let me know. Uh, you can be nice about it. Like, hey, Flair, at minute blah, 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 you said that that was a gar. You're dumb as heck. And uh, it was uh, it was this. All right, we're going to keep moving. Stay on the move. Okay, gar's done. What fish is that? That's a leaf. Okay, not a fish. So far, they are loving the Guggen Bates Dragon Drop. I'll tell you what. I was going to say gar aren't going to like it. No, well, that one did. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, he ate it. Oh my the, God, that was a good one. Yeah, I know. Look at these right there. Are you just trying to go after guard now? Well, I mean, they're kind of fun, yeah. I'm just using a watermelon red, and they uh, they seem to like it. I mean, I, I think, honestly, it's just straight reaction here. I don't think they really think it's anything that they usually eat. You can't go wrong with green pumpkin or watermelon red. Those are my two favorite go-to colors, especially with clear water. If you throw either one of those two colors, you're, you're pretty much going to catch some fish. I'll tell you that much. I need to catch one of these gar, though, before... Before I we move on, I think what the plan is, Perkin, we're just gonna we're just gonna canal hop, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes per canal, then move on, just to see how many species we can catch, just to see, kind of explore a little bit, have have some fun while we're in Florida. It's not all about try hard largemouth, you know. We gotta gotta have some fun every once in a while. So, oh, there's a giant catfish right there. Holy crap, that's a huge catfish. I don't know how to catch these things. I need like some, I don't even know, some chicken liver or something. Well, that's a big gar right there. Got him. Oh, he came off. Oh, he smoked it. He absolutely inhaled that. Gosh darn it. That was sick. Literally just pitched it right on top of him and he just pounded it. Oh, there's a peacock. There's a peacock. There's a peacock right there. I see one. There's two peacocks right there. Oh, come on. Come on. No, there's someone away. Oh, gosh. It's so discouraging being able to see all these fish. And them not eat the bait you're throwing. All right, we're gonna we're gonna tie on a, uh, a little lipless crank. Something with some treble hook. Something with some sound. Something that might be able to get them to react a little bit better. This guy we should do it right here. A little golden. A little golden, dude. It's gonna happen right here, folks. Or smoke something. Eric and I are walking back. Apparently, he caught some big fish that I didn't like a different species that I didn't even see so you guys will have to go check out his channel to go see what he caught but it looks like there's a car parked behind our truck so it might it might be a cop might just be a, a subscriber I'm not really sure it seems like everywhere we go in Florida we're just constantly getting kicked out how's it going Good. all right well made it back to the truck it was not a cop Dingy dog just said just a friendly pedestrian, you know, just just seeing what was the deal. But anyways, we're moving spots. Our goal is to hit two, three, maybe four of these little creeks. Different areas to try to find some different species. Again, we're just after just random Florida fish. Anything but largemouth, we're after. That's pretty much the goal. Oh, is this vlog on vlog? Is this vlog on vlog action right now or what? All right, well, I'll let you take over the vlog. You guys, you guys just stay tuned. Whew, all right, well, we made it to the next spot here. Well, we actually pulled off the side of the road just a little bit more, but the creek is over there. So it, there's definitely a lot more trees than last. And last time it was pretty much open. Now there's a lot more trees. So I got to retie. I got to get a net rig or something back on and try to catch some fish. All right, we're on the move. Let's find us some Florida fish. Oh, there's a gar. Big shocker. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't really get the fish fired up. Oh, what is that? Well, that looks like crazy catfish or something down there. There are so many weird freaking species here. He's got it. Got him. I don't know what it is, but I got him. Oh, I got a fish. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Oh, he came off. No. Oh, no. I think that might have been a dogfish. It was, it was kind of silver, though, but it looked just like a dogfish. Oh, <laughs> come on. Dude, that was sick. Oh, what is that? There's a fish down there I don't recognize. Come here, friend. Oh, he's interested. Yep. Got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, come on. Come on. 
What is this? What is this thing? What the heck? What is this thing right here? I, I'm afraid to touch it. Do you see the colors of this thing? Oh, he's got a little... Oh, yeah, he's got chomps. Oh, see you later, buddy. No idea what that was. Please comment down below and help me out. Identify it. I dropped my little drag drop down there, and he absolutely pounded it. Yeah, he definitely had little little chompers on there, little teeth. That was sick, though. Finally, finally caught one of those things. But yes, please comment down below what that fish was. I would love to know what I just caught, because that whatever that was was my PB. All right, Peric said he found some sauce. He said there's a trillion fish in a small puddle. Bunch of different species, so we're gonna walk down. I don't know what that is. It's just crazy. Literally like fishing somebody's aquarium right now. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think you guys could even see that. How many freaking fish are in here? What is it? Giant bass? Gator. No way. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, I just saw his head. Hell no, and what, what, what were you trying to do? Get me to jump in there if I lose? You guys can't see it, there's a giant alligator. Perry's like, hey, whoever catches the least amount of species is gonna have to jump in the water. Meanwhile, there's a 12 foot alligator laying down at the bottom. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Got him, oh, got him, got him, yep. What's up, little Largy? Oh yeah, he ate it off the dangle. I brought it across the tree branch and just started dangling it. Hell yeah, baby. A little Florida Largy. Finally, it's been a dry spell, folks, trying to get some of these bass by. That's all I've been chasing is these bass. See you, buddy. It's literally all I've been trying to catch lately is these bass. I caught some gar and some random weird exotic fish, but I was like, ah, oh, man, I want to catch some more Largy. There you go. There is another largemouth. Done. Yeah. Yeah, need food. Oh, did you have fun? Uh, you know, you know, I mean, any day. Did you let them know uh, who won the challenge or no? No. They'll have to tune in. They'll have to tune in to find out, but uh, it was a good day. That's all I'm going to say. A good day, that's all I'm going to say. That rhymes. Thank you.